Hello everyone, welcome to Dentist Nerdy. Hope you guys are enjoying your new journey in the field of dentistry. Hope you all have understood our first lecture which was a short discussion on the introduction of blood. अगर आपको कोई भी टॉपिक या टर्म में इशू आए तो हमें अपना फीडबैक जरूर दें इससे हमें मदद मिलेगी और हम आगे और इम्प्रूव करने की कोशिश करेंगे सो गेटिंग बैक टू अवर लेक्चर अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज हेमोग्लोबिन वॉट इज हेमोग्लोबिन एज आई सेट इन माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर हेमोग्लोबिन इज द मेन कंपोनेंट ऑफ आर बी सी इट इज द रेड ऑक्सीजन कैरिंग पिगमेंट प्रेजेंट इन आर बी सी ऑफ वर्टिब्रेट्स द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ एरिथ्रोसाइट इज कैरिड आउट बाई हेमोग्लोबिन इट इज एक्सप्रेस्ड इन द टर्म्स ऑफ ग्राम पर डेसीटर द नॉर्मल रेंज ऑफ हेमोग्लोबिन वेरीज इन बिटवीन थर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव टू एटीन ग्राम पर डेसीटर इन मैन वेर इज इन वोमेन इट रेंजेस बिटवीन ट्वेल्व टू फोर्टीन ग्राम पर डेसीटर नेक्स्ट वी कम टू द कंटेंट ऑफ हेमोग्लोबिन इट इज कंपोज ऑफ द प्रोटीन ग्लोबिन and the pigment hem the basic structure of hemoglobin is shown here this you can find in the book ekgen as well agle topic mein aate hain where we can see the catabolism of hemoglobin this is one of the most important topic of hemoglobin at the end of this lecture i'll provide you some important questions regarding hemoglobin Which are very important on exam point of view, or use we will discuss. करेंगे. So, seeing this chart, where we can find hemoglobin is being divided into hem and globin. As I said you, the hem is the pigment part and globin is the protein part. Next, the hem splits off into the iron, Fe2 plus iron, and the remaining part which is been oxidized into bilirubin further it is been reduced to bilirubin this bilirubin will be used or i can say the main discussion of bilirubin will find in jaundice the major discussion regarding jaundice will be done in our upcoming lectures on the diseases related to blood okay so let me give you guys a short description on jaundice You all already know what is jaundice, right? It is the yellow discoloration of eyes, skin, and other body tissues caused by the presence of an excessive accumulation of bilirubin. If the serum bilirubin level rises above two milligram per deciliter, it leads to jaundice. Okay, let us leave this topic here. The further discussions will be done in the next lecture. Next. we come to the components of hemoglobin we have already heard the terms oxyhemoglobin deoxyhemoglobin carbamino hemoglobin carboxy hemoglobin and so on so what are these terms come let us discuss first oxyhemoglobin oxygen combines weakly with hemoglobin molecule to form oxyhemoglobin it is formed mainly in lungs next we have the carbamino hemoglobin as the name suggest carbamino means it is been related to carbon dioxide in tissues when hemoglobin combines with carbon dioxide it leads to carbamino hemoglobin next major term is carboxy hemoglobin okay guys don't get confused between carbamino hemoglobin and carboxy hemoglobin carbamino hemoglobin means hemoglobin and carbon dioxide whereas carboxy hemoglobin means it is a combination of hemoglobin and carbon monoxide next we have meth hemoglobin it is such hemoglobin in which iron has potential not as 2 plus but as 3 plus coming on to our next topic which is the types of hemoglobin on exam point of view the difference between adult and fetal hemoglobin is very very important see i have provided here the difference between the adult hemoglobin and the fetal hemoglobin adult hemoglobin contains four polypeptide chains where it comprises of the two alpha chains and two beta chains 
whereas fetal hemoglobin comprises of two alpha chains and two gamma chains. At birth, the 20% of total hemoglobin is adult hemoglobin, whereas at birth the remaining 80% that means majority of it is fetal hemoglobin. Obviously, the adult hemoglobin lifespan will be more. It is about 120 days, whereas the fetal hemoglobin lifespan is nearly 2 weeks. Adult hemoglobin has normal affinity for oxygen, whereas the fetal hemoglobin has much greater affinity to oxygen as compared to the adult hemoglobin. Moving on to our last topic, which is the functions of hemoglobin. As you guys can see here, the main function of hemoglobin is to facilitate the transport of oxygen from lungs to tissues. Not only oxygen, it can also facilitate the transport of carbon dioxide. Being a protein, hemoglobin acts as an excellent acid base buffer. It is also responsible for 70% buffering power of the whole blood. Okay. Now let us discuss some of the important questions or some of the important topics which comes from this part. Firstly, it is the fate of hemoglobin which I have already discussed with you. Next are the functions of blood and lastly the difference between the adult and fetal hemoglobin. Thank you so much junior doctors. Hope you all enjoyed this lecture. Keep sharing and keep supporting us as you all do. Thank you.